And now for the very last presenter of today, it is my pleasure to introduce Max Tell, who will be reading uh, from a selection of his written works. And uh, please welcome Max Tell. Thank you so much. I, I don't need a microphone. I just have a big mouth. <laughs> now, if you've been to the other WIN events these past three years, you will have noticed that I'm a children's entertainer. Oh, I even have my name on my back. That's so I won't forget it. And uh, I do a little bit of audience participation. And so those of you who have uh, done this with me, please participate. And those who haven't, please participate. Pretend that you have a bug in your hand. Everybody, sir, do you have a bug in your hand? Yeah, you do. You have a bug in your hand? Don't drop whatever you have there. There's a bug in your hand, okay? There's a bug in my hand, and it climbed on my nose, and it played it. Sir, you don't have a bug. Where's your bug, man? What, what? Don't you have a bug in your pocket? Okay, everybody have a bug. Ready? We can't do it. Without. Everybody behind the table, you have to get your bug too. There's a bug in my hand, and it climbed on my nose, and it played a bass drum, bum, 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 bum. That's very good, but I don't have everybody, okay? And do the words with me. There's a bug in my hand, and it climbed on my nose, and it played a bass drum, bum, 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 bum. There's a bug in my hand, and it climbed on my nose, and it played a bass drum, bum, 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 bum. Oh, that was pretty good. But what if it's a great big, hairy, scary bug? Can you give me a scary face? And a scary voice? Ready? There is a bug in my hand, and it climbed up my nose, and it played a bass drum, bum, 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 bum. Man, you're, where's your bug? It, no, no, she's doing fine. You have your bug? Oh, what about your scary face? Got your scary face? Oh, that's scary. Okay. <laughs> There's a bug in my hand, and climbed on my nose, and it played a bass drum. Bum, 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 bum. That's really good, but what if it, it's a really hairy and scary bug? Are you ready? Can you do it? There's a bug in my hand, and it climbed on my nose, and it played a bass drum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's great. Quicksand Dan, he hoarded mud, 
barrels, buckets filled with crud. He stole the stuff, <coughs> never enough. A lack of mud made him gruff. Then one day, there was a trout. Not one clump of mud about. Mud so scarce, so hard to find. Not one glove of mud of any kind. Quicksand Dan turned sad and moody, moped and moaned thoughts of gloomy. Life's a bore without mud crud. Muddy crud is in mud blood. Quicksand Dan talked to himself, he did, ever since he was a kid. Never talked to mum and, mum and dad. That is why they thought him mad. Mud and crud, Dan cried to Dan, steal the mud crud from any man. Then he found that mud-made house with a mud-made husband and a mud-made spouse, with mud-made kids and a mud-made cat that superbly purred in Bunny's hat. With mud made this, and mud made that, and a mud made dog that sat on cat. Quicksand Dan cased the house, hummed a hum by a mouse named Strauss, waited till the night was black. Across his back, a canvas sat. The doors were locked, tight, secure. He checked his handy thief brochure. Unlock windows are the key. In you go, breaking free. In he went, one silent step. Steal what mud you can, my pet, he said in whispers to himself. Then spy mud knickknacks on the shelf. A mud crud smile from ear to ear. He felt himself a buccaneer. There was mud galore to steal for any thug with mud appeal. He threw his sack from off his back, <coughs> spun upon one toe, then spat. <coughs> he grabbed old pictures, family shots, with bunny money. He stole the lot. But her eyes, so bright, with smiles, Filled his heart with doubts and trials. Resist, he cried. You're a crook. Don't be turned by a bunny's look. Stand up, he groans. For theft and stealing, pilfering is so appealing. <coughs> be firm, you worm. Don't pout, you lout. Steal the stuff and then get out. He grabbed his sack um, and bit his tongue. Then stuff the stuff, every one brick of brack and mud made things, a mud made bird with mud made wings. All things mud went in his sack. He threw that sack upon his back. A mud made doll went in last. Now skedaddle, make it fast. Mr. God, Mr. A tiny voice. He slowly turned. He had no choice. There she stood with mud-made eyes, filled with tears and great surprise. Mister, mister, I lost my doll. I must have dropped it down the hall. You can have it, I suppose. Then he pinched her mud-made nose. Grumbling, he grabbed the thing and gave the mud-made doll a fling. Flew across the room, crash, then fell upon the floor, smash. The head snapped off. It truly did. It rolled across the floor, then hid beneath the mud-made sofa there. Dan and Buddy, Bunny, Muddy stared. Quicksand Dan looked in her eyes. A flood of tears and, and more surprise. <clears throat> Far more tears than you can count poured from Dan on her account. His heart, it broke. It
truly shattered, then and there all that mattered was to soothe and wipe the tears and clear away all dread and fears. Quicksand had a way with clay, molded mounds most every day, down to doodads for his shelves, mud-made gnomes and mud-made elves. He took the head, should I stop? Oh. Well, I'll just say thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>